Hi. Uh, welcome to Java CUP7. Uh, my name is Veera. Uh, just uh, quickly show how Java will work and uh, some multiple sessions just. So now I will show you how to download, install, and uh, to start the server of JBoss. Uh, just uh, this is a, a site where you can download the JBoss server. So just, uh, just to do this zip file, we can uh, then we can install the zip and as well as a it's a jar. So just I download a zip file. Yes, yes, the zip file I download it. So just yes. So I mean this is my home path. Take the JBoss home directory and uh, Java. Of course, uh, J, uh, JBoss AP7. It will work uh, Java JDK 1.8 plus. And uh, these are the default uh, JVM parameters. So if you see this uh, server, and uh, this is actually 60 bit. Uh, uh, it's a default uh, parameters. Be you know 64 bit uh, mission if you run the JBoss server. It's mandatory. As well as this is where both GC all is. Uh, garbage collection parameters uh, which is given by default uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, if you see this uh, JVM parameters and minimum and maximum uh, this is run with around 1 GB and uh, if you see this uh, okay so JBoss is started uh, you can open uh, so admin console using uh, this triple line zero port and uh, and zero uh, zero application HTTP uh, let's uh, just see, uh, go to uh, not, uh, I can console uh, whether it can be able or not. HTTP localhost triple nine zero. So just just by default it will, uh, but we cannot open I can console until unless we create a uh, user in JBoss. So this is we started. Uh, let's uh, let me create a user in JBoss. MP seven bin. Uh, we have. Uh, JBoss CLI.SH file, oh sorry, add the user.SH file. Uh, so, we are going to create a uh, management user. So, so, just select A and uh, let me create uh, JBoss uh, just the password. So, password, uh, this is a lot of Okay, just we created the user file now. Just uh, refresh this page. So yes, we are. So define JBoss and this password uh, JBoss. So so this is how we are. So this is uh, JBoss uh, admin console uh, EAP7 version. Uh, it's a lot of changes uh, compared to JBoss EAP6. So complete. We look and feel everything has got changed. So here. Uh, <coughs> so let me uh, you know uh, j just deploy on a simple uh, uh, application web application. Let's. Uh, so you can deploy in multiple ways. Uh, uh, so we will go with uh, no, next uh, step by step. Okay. Let me see this. Uh, you see this console. Okay. Let's be started. And uh, so, so see this. Uh, so this is some warning kind. It is showing like, you know uh, node identifier properties not turned on. Default properties may show it's a So two. So this is uh, warning. And, uh, no, to avoid uh, no, 
to this warning uh, we need to see uh, when you start the standalone by default it will look for uh, standalone configurations okay this is uh, no, by default look to uh, no, standalone.xml okay so just a standalone xml file so this is uh, xml so this is this is more identifier This uh, unique node, uh, it's, you know, it's looking for the node that that's why this is a warning message should be like. And uh, let me uh, no, control C and let me start again and see whether. Uh, so I just uh, modified here, I added uh, no, uh, just uh, so I just added uh, this node identifier to avoid this uh, warning message. So let me uh, no, start again. Let me see. Yeah, that's great. So you can see now the warning message. Uh, so now all our info. So, so it will uh, by default. Uh, it will look for uh, the, the stables uh, standalone .xml. Okay, the, that's for basic. You know, how to download and start. Starting server. Thank you for watching. Thank you.